What is up? Welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. Today we have another Sorcery Contested Realm Beta Booster Box from a man, Alan P. from the Great North. Super hyped about this box. This is a uh, relatively new game, and uh, there's our box toppers. Very nice, and we have our mini tokens in there. And I love opening this thing. Um, this is, we've opened an entire case and we haven't hit any unique foils yet. And I'm learning about new card types as we go. There's something called a curio. And we potentially have missed a curio. They're super hard to hit, so I'm not going to say we have or haven't. But, uh, you know, if, you, if you're if you really, really attentive, you can find some curios. Uh, but it's just like a little bit of alternate art. The name will be a little bit different. They're super hard to spot. And uh, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for because I'm not well versed in this game quite yet. Something something I might be interested in doing. I might reach out to the sorcery people and see if they might, uh, you know, hook me up with some starters or something. That way I can learn the game. We can do some uh, content. Try to further the adoption of the game. I think that would be be good for for everybody. Matt learning how to play sorcery and uh, helping you in the uh, in the process. So sorcery, if you uh, if you see my videos, hit me up. I'm more than willing to help. Looks like we got a foil in this one, so that should be exciting. Got a uh, chimera, pit vipers, and it is a foil, a unique foil. Our first unique foil belongs to Alan. It is a sight. And it is a boneyard. Finally, our first unique foil. That should uh, should be worth quite a bit. I've not checked lately, but I'm wondering, are these on TCG yet? And we did get a uh, we did get an avatar as well. So let's put the GM answer down there. Flip it over on the foil. See the back side of it. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Let's continue right along. These are our, our exceptional dudes. And then we have our site. This is an elite site. Definitely gotta learn how to play this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna find some find some product and uh, maybe get a group together. Find out if they have like an organized play system. Whole nine yards. Elite Aura, Sea Serpent, Swamp Buffalo, and uh, yeah. So a lot of people, a lot of people love this just because the art takes them back to old fantasy, you know, art and old fantasy games like original, early. ABU magic kind of stuff. We have the mercenaries in foil. Very nice hit. But it doesn't, you know, I've, I've, I've noticed in the comments because the way the game was described to me was it's like, it's the new magic. But the, the, the commenters say this is nothing like magic. It plays on X, Y axis, yada, yada, yada. So, um, if I offend anybody by saying that, I was just going by what other people told me. Like I said, I need to learn to play the game. So uh, help me learn so I can so I can describe everything about this game better to you. Cyclops and an elite sight. Cardstock is really nice on these though. Really nice. And I like the fact all the cards are borderless. We do have the text box on them, but but borderless cards look really nice. I'm glad, you know, there's been other Kickstarter upstart games um, that, that haven't quite, in my opinion, ticked all the boxes on the aesthetics of the cards. Um, regardless of how you feel about MetaZoo, the red border was a little, a little polarizing, you know? 
uh, Grand Archive started off hot and it seems to have uh, chill, chilled out quite a bit. Sorry about that, we got a, uh, a notification on my computer and it was epically loud. So if that hurts your ears, I do apologize. I did turn the speakers down. <laughs> Scavenging Fiend. Looking for our next unique, the only one we've gotten so far is the foil one. Not gonna complain about that, but Definitely needing some more, uh, some more uniques here. Replication. Really like the art on this card. Very wizardy. We do have another foil. What's it gonna be? It's Alan. You have caught the crabs. Sandworm. We'll flip this over while we're sleeving it. That way you can get a look at the back. So we're 12 packs in, third of the way through the backs. I really like the fact you get, I'm gonna be honest, I like the fact you get 36 packs, I really do. It gives you, uh, gives you more cards to play with to get your decks built. So, uh, big fan of that. And stack number two. An elite site once spanned an empire. They really leaned into the whole the whole thing. Like it's the way the the cards are raritized and the way they're worded. I feel like I've, I should be saying this with like a like an accent, or I should lean fully into the fantasy the fantasy theme, right? Starting off with two sites there and an elite mortal, the falconer. And very tricky to open. I'd like to see a core. We haven't opened many cores yet. This is our, our fifth or sixth box of this. And uh, I think we've only hit one or two cores. So, magnetic muzzle. Super creepy. And I hate to, I hate to keep uh, comparing to magic. People say the cores are power nine-ish. You guys can let me know if that's correct or not. I think I think everything gets the magic comparison. If it's if it's a card game and it's printed on cardboard, because it's OG, so far it stood the test of time. It's ups and downs. The the being owned by Hasbro, ghost ship. But uh, with Wilds of Eldraine, ooh, that is beautiful. That is a very nice foil. That's probably, even though it's ordinary, it might be worth a little bit. Um, with Lods of Eldraine and Ixalan coming out, the, the sets are selling well. The people, people really aren't complaining about it. There's value in the boxes. So hopefully we turn the corner with Magic. All these new uh, hot card games like Sorcery. And uh, Flesh and Blood's not new anymore. It's, uh, it's pretty established. Ooh, Cerberus and Chains. Um, you know, they're, they're really pushing... Watsy and Magic to, uh, to to do better and, and, and figure out the things they're doing wrong. A foil, too. Spectral Stalker. Hi, yo. So, competition is good. And, you know, you don't always want to play the same game. So, I'm glad, you know, games like Sorcery um, have come along. And I think a lot of card games come out as a result of things that people don't like. In Magic or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, etc., etc. So I think they take the best parts of uh, of all the other games and wrap them into one, or at least try to. Another unique, the mechanism. There we go. We got a foil in here too. Let's see if it's a banger. Chains of Prometheus. That was a good pack. A foil and a unique.
So this unique relic, it says bearer's controller determines all random outcomes. We have Avatar in this one. Saw it on the back of the pack there. Mix Aqua. Tufted Turtles. What a little cute, cute little card there. And let's see what we get. It is a Sorcerer to go with our Geomancer. Ooh, this card is miscut. That's uh that's gonna be nice there. An elite miscut for for Alan. Wow wow wee wow. Very interesting. We'll sleeve that up. Didn't expect to see that. I don't know if there's a big uh, misprint community in sorcery yet, but uh somebody'd be willing to uh to fork out a few extra bucks for that, I feel like. Very cool, very cool. And we got it on camera too, so you know it's not like some sort of weird, weird NFC or something. Elite giant there. You know what this box needs? It needs more cowbell. And by cowbell, I need, I mean unique. We only got two, three if we count the foil. Sneak Thief. And this is the end of the second stack. You know, with this set, I've, I've only opened the case of this, but what I've what I've noticed is there there is a pretty big clumping. Like, there's well, that's for uniques, get uniques. Um, there is a clumping with the with the cards, like the the way things are inserted into the boxes. I don't know if these are these are hand sorted, if they're they're mechanically inserted. I don't know the process. I've never seen it. Um, but and from what I've seen in the groups and the forums, yeah, clump, clumping is a thing with this. I'm sure as the uh, as the game ages and learns and gets older, there's things will things will change. Some malachrome. That's a really dope card. I don't think I've opened that one yet. Beautiful card. Love it. It looks like we do have a foil, and it's an elite sight. Very nice for Alan. And I wish—I really wish I knew enough about the card game to watch for the uh, the curios because those cards are ridiculously expensive. And uh, to to know I just might have thumbed through one feels bad. But I feel like a lot of people have done the same thing. From what I've seen in the Facebook groups, people are like, "I went and dug through my bulk and found a curio." Here we go, Unlikely Alliance. Riptide, that's one of the uh, the new Beartooth songs. If you're, a, uh, if you're a Metalcore fan, you know what I'm talking about. Next one, we got Sisters of Science. This is a bit of a miscut too. So we've got a little bit of a, uh, a miscut elite sheet, I do believe. So this one does have a little bit actually of the next card below it. So uh, I'm gonna flip through that elite stack and see if I've missed any other ones. So congrats on the miscuts, Alan. And let's uh, let's see what we get. Let's see if there's. I think I would have noticed, but I've not been playing paying super duper close attention. So these elites look like they are pretty good, but two miscuts miscuts so far. Maybe there'll be a couple more as we go through. Come on, seven league boots. This is dope. What a unique. First time we've seen that one. I feel like that's a that's a big hit. Big hit there for Allen. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Don't hold me to that. We have a unique sight there, the Dome of Osiris. So back to back uniques. Maybe this first stack is where they were all hiding. I 
Ah, we do have more miscuts. This one's not as severe. You do have a tiny bit of the uh, the previous card, the, the adjacent card, if you will. So, uh, and there's another avatar, another Geomancer. Guy Baron. I'd like at least one more unique, one more foil if we can get it. We got a couple packs left. I think we might be able to might be able to pull it off. May the packs be with us here. Yeah, we got another unique. It's another site. Cloud City. There we go. If only there would have been a foil in the same pack list and a wave shaper. That's the first time I've seen this avatar. So probably one of the more difficult ones to get. Question mark. How many packs we got, Alan? We got four packs. Four packs, baby. One, two, three, and another unique. Lots of unique sides here. Hitting on the uniques, baby. Let's keep it going. Closing out strong. This pack opened like a pop tart. Unlikely alliance. There's a foil. It's a meteor shower. An elite foil. There we go. So uh, we got more than I was asking for. I was asking for one unique and one foil. We got two uniques in one foil, and we got two packs left, so I feel like everything from here on out is going to be bonus. We got the Harpooners, Nimbus Gin, and Center, well, I'll put those in the wrong spot, let me slide those back over, Incinerate, Spin a Sack, Last Pack, alright, let's get some Last Pack Mojo, some Last Pack Magic, some Last Pack Sorcery for Alan here, let's get it. Dude, it's just a meteor shower. We still have a chance to foil, and we got it. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's just an ordinary, but we will absolutely take that. So, guys, thank you for joining me. If you don't mind, subscribe, like the video. Leave me a comment for the giveaways we do here. Um, I'm going to try to start getting some sorcery in. That way, for the sorcery stuff, we can do, uh, like, maybe starters or booster packs or booster box giveaways for sorcery. Product's kind of hard to get right now, but we do do the magic giveaways. So, keep your eyes out for those if you're in the magic. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Alan, thank you for sponsoring this box. This thing was probably pretty epic, especially with the miscuts. Love your faces. We'll see you in the next one.